Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can run Windows 10 virtually on the Mac operating system. Mainly, I'm using MacBook Pro and my MacBook Pro is 256 uh, GB and that's not enough to run Windows 10. So if you want to run a multiple operating system, uh, first of all, it's not enough hard drive to run Windows 10 and also uh, you need to make sure that you have enough space so you can install and use the Windows 10 properly on the Mac. Now what I've done to fix that problem, I have used an external hard drive and I'm going to be showing you can you or should you run a full-fledged operating system from an external hard drive or even if it's possible, you know, if you use an external hard drive to run an operating system, it might be laggy, it might not perform and it's not usable at all. Now I'm using SSD drive and I'm gonna plug that into MacBook Pro and the way I attach that to my MacBook Pro is by using these tapes, okay? And I stick that at the back of the MacBook Pro. The software I'm using is called Parallel Desktop, uh, the version 14 I'm using here. Now I plug that in and straight away you notice that the Windows 10 icon just appeared, a Debian, uh, GNU Linux 9 just appeared and Mint as well. Now, should you really run a Windows 10 from your external hard drive or is this possible? As you know that if you want to get a MacBook Pro with uh, 512, it's really, really expensive. And if you want to have one terabyte hard drive, it's just too expensive. I'm going to show you into the drive folder. I go to VM and here I've installed Windows 10, Mint 19, CentOS and Debian, all are running from that external hard drive. So again, it's running from an external SSD and it's connected via USB-C. So I'm gonna click on this play button and there you go. It's gonna log me in and let's see how well it performs using uh, some softwares. Screen is fully covered. Okay, so let's start by opening some softwares and you can see for yourself how fast is it. So first of all, I'm gonna open this in Explorer and there you go we have this PC running I'm gonna right click properties and here we have a 4 gig of RAM only and also we have this two core assigned to this virtual machine close close you know I'm gonna move my mouse seems pretty pretty solid let's open edge browser there you go you know seems very fast let's open VS code if you're a developer you might want to code on this uh, virtual operating system looking good guys so yeah let's open one of the heaviest software that i've installed right now called jetbrains webstrong we have a two other very for that pycharm and also intellij idea so i'm just waiting for that jetbrains to come back meanwhile we can open mozilla firefox browser and yeah looking good now another thing that I did uh, is I could switch between a virtual desktops in Windows 10. Now how am I doing it is by using this uh, Logitech uh, MX Master 2S mouse. Now we have a WebStorm running guys. Now this is the first time that WebStorm started. I'm going to close it. If you can assign uh, 8 gig RAM to your Windows operating system, I can guarantee you it's gonna run much, much faster. But is it usable? If I can open Chrome browser, how fast it feels, how you know snappy it feels. This is pretty snappy and I've been using this uh, to do some development as well. Now if you have a, a MacBook Pro with 128 gig of hard drive or 256, I, I, I can tell you that's not enough at all to do all your work. So what you can do is you can buy an external SSD, connect it with the USB-C and then run your own uh, operating system separately. Now for that, you have two options. Either you have a parallel uh, desktop software, which is paid, costs 100 bucks, or you can use a virtual box, which is free. Now, I tried playing games as well on uh, Windows 10 and it seems really, really fine to me. So that was a quick video about how do I use Parallel Desktop and can you run a Windows 10 on Parallel Desktop using an SSD or not. Cool, thanks for watching and I'll do some more videos about this uh, Parallel Desktop. It's a really great virtualization software. You can run Windows, you can run Linux and it seems really, really smooth as well. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you guys in the next one.